Hi folks. Well, in the end I was right. England versus France. France went through. But there's a few things from the game. I mean, England had more shots and more shots on target. The problem is, even during the game, I was seeing, you know, Saka had a shot just inside the penalty area. A little tap to Louise. Made it easy for Louise to save. If he hit it with any oomph, it wouldn't be a goal. Then Kane did the same thing a bit later. A little tap to his goalkeeper, basically. Yeah, made it easy for, for Louise to save, save it. Again, if there was any power in that shot, goal. Yeah, it's just that within the England, it always is those just those small details. And right at the end of the match, there's a there's a free kick just outside the box. Rashford's going to take it. You know exactly what he's going to do. Yeah, they have all that time in training. Do they ever practice free kicks where they do something different, where they do something clever to create a better opportunity of actually getting the ball in the back of the net? Because if you're trying to hit the ball over a wall and get the ball to come down just at the right time, but not too low, so it beats the goalkeeper and just comes under the bar. That is incredibly difficult to do for any player. Incredibly difficult to do. That's why when someone can do it on a regular basis, they are counted as a superstar because it's not something people can do on a regular basis. So therefore, Rashford scored one against Wales. Is he likely to do the same again? No. So first of all, why are you letting him take it? And why haven't you worked something out in training? You know, to provide a better chance of actually getting that ball in the back of the net. There are loads of things that you can do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. It's what they do. And, yeah, again, everyone says that Maguire is so good in the year. No, he isn't. Yeah, he had one good chance of a header. He hit it against a bar, or a post, sorry. Against a post. Again, if he was that good in the air, it would have gone in the goal. The goal was big enough, for going to say. The ball's only tiny. Yeah, to get a tiny ball on target, it shouldn't be that, dif shouldn't be that difficult if you're good in the air. Maguire is not good in the air. He never has been. He isn't. Most of the time, certainly for United and for England, actually, you can say the same. When, when Maguire's making a clearance with a header, does it normally go to an England player or a minority player? The answer is no, it doesn't. It normally goes to an opponent. So therefore, is he good at heading the ball to where he wants the ball to go to? The answer is no, unless he just doesn't care where the ball's going, in which case he's brilliant at that. Yeah, Maguire is in the team because he's supposed to be good in the air. He's not good in the air. Because even the second goal by France, that Maguire was the closest player to him, to Giroud. And Giroud got them ahead of Maguire. So, again, why is Maguire in there? He's slow. He's not necessarily good at, at tackling. Certainly at one point, oh my God. Um, there was one point where Maguire went forward... He was on the left. He went to try and tackle someone. The person did something different. And Maguire had to try and change direction. It took him so long. <laughs> it really took him so long. Yeah, I was thinking, I can have a cup of tea by the time he changed his direction. <laughs> to be honest, Maguire should never play for England again. Shouldn't. He should... Oh. Again, why this manager is a manager until the end of the Euros... Because what I said about England was true. They were set up defensive. They were set up to play it safe. They changed their attitude after going down by one goal. So after they conceded. Now that shouldn't have been a goal. That should have been pulled back for the foul on Saka. Because it was a foul on Saka. It should have been pulled back but it wasn't. So VAR fouled England there. Then a bit later in the half. There was a foul. An absolute foul on Kane. And the referee, oh my God, he was awful. He was absolutely terrible, referee. 
Because even the one where he gave the second penalty on Mount, that one, he didn't give it initially. He waved play on. So because VAR called him back, he couldn't see that, you know, slamming someone in the back, knocking them over, as they're jumping ahead of the ball, that that's a, he doesn't know that that's a foul. That referee was just awful. Um, but that's no excuse for England. It really isn't, as I say. The amount of shots they had on target. If they would have put a little bit more venom behind the shots, they would have scored. Because even if, even if where you shoot is quite close to the goalkeeper, if it's hit really hard, that goalkeeper's got no chance of getting the ball, really. It's going to be simply reaction. The problem is, most of the shots were comfortable, were soft. The shots on goal were soft. They should never have been soft. None of them should have been soft. You've got to hit that ball with venom. You're in the box. Yeah. Absolute venom. You want to try and kick the ball so that you're trying to kick all the air out of the ball. That's what you should do. Put your foot right through it so that ball, zoom, it destroys the net. If you're doing anything other than that and you're in a quarter final trying to get through and you're a goal down, what are you doing? Because England were really, on the whole, the better team attacking wise. As I said in my one, they should have been because they had overall the better attacking players. I mean, Saka dribbling the ball into the box, Foden working, blinking hard and making runs against players. Yeah, did they use that enough? No, they should have got the ball to Saka a lot more. They should have made sure that the ball was on that side a lot more and switched it quicker. Because even before the, the, fr the French first goal, you know, oh my God, it was so frustrating watching them because yeah, they were keeping the ball between the defenders and the defensive midfielders for a good couple of minutes before then. And you just knew, because even just before then, um, right before that, they were trying to do keepy ball between that and boom, yeah. They, the ball was intercepted because it was easily read. England were trying to play safe. They were trying to just keep the ball in a defensive area, not trying to do anything risky. And once they conceded, they then decided, OK, sod that. Yeah, there was a foul on Saka, so we're pissed off now. And they played with that sort of attitude more, more like what they were doing before. And it worked. They were playing better. They should have had a penalty, probably with Kane. It was just a case that was that was the contact, the worst contact inside the box. It was. Did it start outside the box? Yes. But was the final contact inside the box? Yes. But Kane was mostly, one of his legs was inside, his body was inside, one of his other legs was outside the box. But that's counted basic that you're inside the box. But VAR decided, I think, that it happened outside the box. And therefore, if it's a foul outside the box that the referee misses, they don't put it back. They don't give a free kick for that. They only put it back for a penalty, um, which is a bit stupid. But OK. Yeah. Yeah, so... Poor. Overall, I think England did OK. I think defensively they, they, they've got to find better defenders because Stones is okay but again Stones isn't quick and all the stuff before about how quick Walker was when Mbappe was a damn sight quicker than Walker and Mbappe was clever because he was doing this where he stopped running and just as the player was getting behind him and he felt the pressure of that player behind him the England player he would slow down a bit to make sure that player collided with him and he got a foul did the England players do that? No, they should have done that. They should have done that. They see he's doing it. Do the same. 
If the referee's given that as a foul, do the same. Saka should have done that. Kane should have done that. Foden should have done that. Yeah. It was clever football. It was it was nicking a foul. It wasn't really a foul because the player couldn't do anything other than collide into you because you slowed down intentionally to get the foul. You know, but the referee gives it. So if the referee gives it as a foul, then okay. Do the same. Yeah. But the referee was quite bad. He was quite quick to give France free kicks. But very, very slow to give England free kicks. He didn't like doing that at all. Um, he made quite a lot of mistakes with regards to that. There was a lot of free kicks that he should have given to England. As I say, uh, front f first goal should have been brought back to a foul on Saka. But it wasn't. Well, that's down to VAR. But the referee should have spotted that anyway. and should have given it. Because he was giving France free kicks for far less than that. Yeah, but there you go. That's what happens in games. That's what I said about, you know, with, with regards to football, you can have a referee decision that's being completely against you. You've got to make sure that you do the job. And England, yeah, as I say, with the amount of shots and shots on target, they should have done the job. They really should. Yeah, but it's those soft shots that, yeah. I think what went against them was that. Again, yeah, the commentators were saying you put your money on Kane to score from both penalties. No, I wouldn't. If he had two penalties, I'd put my money on him to score one, not two. So again, was there someone else that you could have put in to take the second penalty? I would have put someone else in. He's, he's already scored one. So I would have said, yeah, if there's two penalties... You take the first, but then someone else takes the second. Who I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who are normally penalty takers in the England team. Maybe Henderson is. He's an older player. Maybe he is. Maybe Rice is. I don't know. Maybe they could have taken it. You'd go have someone who's, who's senior. So who else who's senior could do that? Yeah. But that's what I would have done. Simply because of the fact... The chances are you've scored one you're going to be a bit more nervous on the second one because you can't put the ball where you put the last one because the goalkeeper is going to go that way or you know the goalkeeper is going to think you're going to put it the other way and yeah it makes you think more when it makes you think more you're in trouble and he put it over the bar this time so yeah it's quite likely he was thinking more because the last penalty he put it on his left, the goalkeeper's right, so what's he going to do this time? Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on him to do the right thing because they've gone down to 2 1 now. Yeah! And there was not a lot of time after that, so there's more pressure on him, so yeah, I'll use someone else. But then again, that's what you think after. But even at that time, did I watch the second penalty? No. Oh, I went out. <laughs> I just went out the room. I didn't watch it because I was thinking, oh, no. Okay, second penalty. If he scores it, great. But I, yeah, I've got a feeling he won't. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, as I say, I... I who else is going to win it? Well, the thing of it is, okay, Argentina have got Messi... But really no one else. France really have got Mbappé. And I suppose Griezmann, but really no one else. So, yeah. But I've got to say the French worked, worked pretty well. I'm closing England down. They did do a good job in that way. I think they have more fouls, don't they? Um, don't know. So, look. Look. So, fouls. England, 10 fouls. The French, 14. Corners, England, 5. The French had 2 corners. Shots on target, they had 5. And England had 8, I do think. 8, yes. Just shots anyway. They had 8. England had 12, I think. Was it 12? I don't know. So, that. 
Oh, 16 they had, yeah. So, anyway, there you go. Yeah. It wasn't a bad game, really. It was a pretty decent game. I mean, they were pretty even against each other, really, yeah. Well, both teams had good players, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, what does it say? Yeah, France did better in front of the goal than England did. That's the situation, really. Ah! <coughs> ben Beanie, you fell off the bed, you idiot. What are you doing, you fell off the bed? Why are you sleeping on the edge of the bed, you nutter? You okay, my boy? <laughs> he has a habit of sleeping on the edge of the bed, and then he <laughs> slides off. <laughs> you okay, my boy? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ben Beanie. You okay, my baby? Oh, poor baby boy. Come here. Come here, Bubba. Oh, you poor baby. Did you fall off the bed? You fell off the bed, you did. Oh, you poor baby. You okay? Did you do a bit of out Oh. You fell off pretty quickly. He just... He started to slide and suddenly, boom, he was off. I didn't have time to get up and, and catch him that time. You okay? Oh, thank for your little pup pup. You didn't hurt yourself. Yeah, you're okay. Made a bit of a noise. Were you scared? Were you scared about the fall fall? Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry, little baby. Little Bambini, don't you worry. Mm? Yeah, it's little Bambini, Bob. Don't you worry, my boy. All better now. All better now. There you go. All better now, Bambini. So, yeah. Well, let's just say, I think France will win it. Mm. Well, when you look at it, they seem to have strength. But their defence, oh, especially their left side of defence, that um, chap on the left side, he was awful, absolutely awful. I mean, again, England should have really done a lot more with that. They should have exposed that player a lot more because he was terrible. Is he playing, is he a City player? Not sure who he plays for. I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name, actually. He's got a weird name. Um, uh, what's his name? Oh, U.P. Akam. Akam E. Kano. Okay, him. Yeah, <laughs> he was pretty bad. He was pretty bad today. Um, yeah, he, had, he showed an awful lot of weakness. Yeah, I didn't rate him very well at all today. I think Jerome was okay. Would I say he did well? No. Nope. Can he do better? Yes. Um, but then number 18, it's easier to say than his number, <laughs> his name. Um, but him, yeah. He's got to do better if France are going to win this. If he's going to be their player, he's got to do better. He really does. Um, but I would say if they've got... Let me see, because... Yeah. It was, well, Kunde, their left back, he's actually a centre back. So if they've got another left back that can come in and do a job, I'll have Kunde in place of their number 18. I think he's probably a more solid defender. I'm not sure about the other defenders, actually, who they've got. They're really good. So, yeah. But I think France should win it. So there you go. I'm going to leave it to it. You take care. Bye-bye.